part two. All right. Anytime we want to add movies to our collection, very easy. Everything is done within XBMC. All we do is go to videos, press the down arrow on our remote, highlight files, press enter. And you can see here's all the folders I've previously added. Let's add some more. There you go, add videos. Select browse. I have a QNAP Synology NAS. Select that. Always have each movie in a subfolder with the movie name and then in parentheses the release date. Let's add 3D movies. OK. Select OK again. We now have to tell XBMC if this folder has uh, movies or TV shows or music. So let's select movies, and then we want to say, are movies in separate subfolders? So in my case, yes. And scan recursively. And then we go over and select OK. And doing so would add all of the movies in those folders to our collection. Anytime you add one movie uh, to your collection, it's very easy to update your library. All you have to do is uh, go into your movie index and press the right mouse button. And you get a pop-up menu. And you see we've got an entry there at the bottom called Update Library takes about a minute or two and XBMC will go through all of your movies and find the new ones and then add them into your collection. Very easy to do. All right. Now, as I told you before, this is a showcase index to select other indexes all we have to do if we want to change something let's press the up arrow on the remote and you'll see that we have a uh, side menu pops up you see there's the showcase let's press enter on that and when we do we'll have a, a list of a whole bunch of different options for displaying our movies first one is called list Very simple list, very nice. Press I on the remote to go to the movie details page. And we can run the movie from here by just pressing enter. We also have view type settings for each index type. there view type settings and we can either have rounded corners on the posters square and each one has each index option like list and showcase have various view type settings uh, so that you can customize the look of your collection all we can sort them all different ways a date MPAA rating date added title, ascending or descending, so on. Let's go. The next one is tri-panel. It's very nice display. So again, we can go through our movies this way. And the view type settings for this one. 
we can do a banners turn that on and you see instead of the text we now have a banner for each movie all done on the fly Select another one. Low list, that's the one I use for TV shows. And you can see on the right above the plot, there's a clear art logo displayed. Pretty neat. And let's go to panel. I like this. If you have a large collection, you can press your remote to the right once and you'll see that little round ball light up. And then when you press up and down, you'll go a page at a time instead of one movie at a time. Press the remote to the left again and you come back to the individual movies. Quick way to go through your collection. From panel we have info panel. It's real neat. See, we have the logo in the background there being displayed. Let's see what view type settings we have. Show CD art. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, let's see if the popcorn hour can do that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, info panel, info wall. I like this one. And let's see. You can show logos instead of titles. The logo will be on the upper right corner there above the plot again. Very neat. Again, you can customize this as you wish. Show the outline plot or the full plot. Set your color. set your cases. No cases or Blu-ray disc cases or clear cases. Okay, the next one is just a full wall. View type settings. You can even have banners instead of posters.
Okay, after a while we've got Bannerplex. And that's just going to show banners. And to think this is one skin. Here's Big Fan. I'm not a big fan of Big Fan. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. <clears throat> Episode. down to the next one, landscape. Let's go down to posters. to shift. Let's go see what the, well I'm going to go use the page mode and go back to the beginning here. And you see the little CDs pop up. Showcase. This is the one I use. Let's see what view type settings we have here. You need to turn off the CD art or not. Big covers so it makes the posters a lot larger. And for the layout at the top, you can delay it. We can set a delay or make it instant coming down. I like mine instant. Let's go look at that. There's no info panel. We can delay it. And now we have the selection on the left for how we want that info panel to look. And you've got four or five different ways you can show it. So that's showing you the fan art. I kind of like the thumbs myself. But we can set on the info panel, we can select the layout. There's our four different layouts. There's poster. And there's four thumbs. That's what I like.
there you have it part two lots of different features for Eon Knox folks have a good day let's see if I can do a part three